It's a question weighing on a lot of people's minds. Will I be able to go on vacation this year or do I need to cancel a trip that's coming up soon? News 9's Gage Golding dug into the details and reports his findings from a local travel expert. It may not feel like it right now, but summer is right around the corner. We're on the cusp of one of the busiest travel and vacation seasons of the year. But many airlines have their planes parked on runways and cruise lines with boats in their ports. So what should you do? Bottom line, is this a good time to start looking at booking a vacation? Yes, um, we're seeing a lot of uh, tour operators, cruise lines, uh, airlines, everybody now trying to say, OK, as soon as it's over in your area, uh, come see us. If you're staying at home during the coronavirus pandemic and have some extra time on your hands, Bill Bryson of Uniglobe Ohio Valley Travel says this might be a good time to explore booking a trip. Airlines are cutting major deals like this one for 85% off from Spirit Airlines. Carnival Cruise Lines welcoming guests for as low as $59 a day and reducing deposits to only $50. Plus, they're giving $100 of onboard credit. The same goes for hotels. Check this out. A room at the Luxor in Las Vegas is only $32 a night. Disney also announcing that Disneyland Shanghai will reopen on May 11th. Bryson says Disney parks in the U.S. aren't that far behind. We expect them to open this summer, and I guess if we are, we're lucky, maybe, uh, maybe yet in June. Still nervous about traveling? Bryson says airlines are taking all sorts of precautions. They're saying no middle seats through June 30th, um, loading the back of the plane first. Cruise lines doing much of the same, some only booking half of the ship's capacity. But what if you already booked your family vacation? If you think that the tour operator cruise line is going to cancel your trip. Wait until they cancel on you before you cancel on them. But if they cancel on you, what we're seeing on average is that they'll give you a 100% cash refund. And the big question before you're about to pay for your trip, do you take the insurance? We've said it for years, take the insurance, take the insurance, take the insurance. Some other things to keep in mind while you're booking your trip. Find out, is the trip completely refundable? Also, do your homework. Although businesses here in the Ohio Valley are reopening, that might not be the case where you're headed. Reporting in Wheeling for News 9, I'm Gage Golding.